Today we're going to talk about dealing with root-bound plants. Sometimes when a plant's been in a container for too long, it can become root-bound. What we do at that time is we go ahead and remove these roots. Sometimes when we have a plant that's root-bound to this extent, we actually have to remove the pot. When we have a plant that's root bound like this, many people think that you have to take these roots, spread them up, tear them apart, and, and that will make the plant grow better. That's usually not the case. What we want to do is we want to make four equally spaced cuts around the root ball, penetrating in about an inch to two inches. This will stop these circling roots that are, that are the problem and allow these other roots to go ahead and, and come out off the root ball and, and form their anchoring positions. This does not destroy the root ball. It should not have any effect on the top. The other misconception is, is when, we, when we destroy roots, we have to compensate by taking some of the top off. That's not correct either. The more foliage we have, the more the plant is going to be able to make photosynthesis and keep the plant from, from going through a, a, a hungry stage. We're going to place our plant in the container at about the same level it was in the former container. This one's just a little larger to allow more root expansion. Take our potting tool, add, add it in here, make sure we compact it down, and then we have our plant has been repotted. Rehabilitating root-bound plants is not a problem. 